Okay, another day of melting lead. Uh, I got some uh, some old lead water pipe from a friend of mine. He uh, works in the water department. As you can see, it's actually lead pipe. Yes, they used to use lead as water pipes. Kind of ironic, huh? All right, what I'm using is a cable cutter uh, to cut it. I think something like this. I think it's one inch inside diameter and as thick wall as it is so forth that's probably i don't know inch and a half pipe whatever but you can see all the crap on it and so forth plus the stuff that's inside and some of these actually have dirt in them so if you use some of this water pipe you can flush out with a hose and let it dry that's great if not try to avoid it because if uh if you get water dropped in that that lead you're looking at a serious explosion as far as the amount of lead that's going to pop out of there as that moisture burns off. Uh, like I said, using a pair of cable cutters, and that's the pipe itself. That's actually the two big pieces and then what's left of, uh, left of this piece right here. Um, I've already cut it up, cast some ingots on it. These ones right here, which are still hot, so I can't really touch them. But this set of row from about here down to here is the ones I've cast so far melting them as I go um, as you can see I dropped some in there and you can see the stuff on top that's the impurities on the lead outside inside so forth let me uh, put this glove on real quick and I'll scrape the top to show you the kind of stuff that comes off it's the actual dirt and everything like that now most of the impurities in lead dirt grime scale all that crap will float to the surface some people flux it that's by using either in a commercial flux or a wax style flux, throw it in there. Some people just throw a color crayon in there. But uh, as you can see the stuff floating on the surface, look at that caked up stuff. So basically what you're gonna do, I use a stainless steel spoon, just run it along the edges, and you can see all the amount of crap. Now let me grab the spoon out. All right, you can see how much crap there is on there. That's all the dirt and everything else that's, that's in that lead. I'm designated spot that I drop all my crap and I scoop it up with a shovel about once a week. But what you can do is just take, and I'm running a little bit hot so it melted quicker, and I'm just casting uh, these ingots so I'm not worried about the temp too much. If I was casting weights, I would drop the temp of it. Now, we'll get this last scoop out. As you can see, more junk, the bulk of it. Now what I'll do is I'll stir it because if there's any loose stuff that actually settled to the bottom, by doing that, you'll cause it to float up. Plus if you're using a cast iron, you may have knocked some scale off the bottom and so forth. Oh yeah, make sure you're wearing a glove so that you don't get this on you. Okay. Now you can see it kind of scaled out the bottom of the top a little bit, skimmed it out. Run your spoon across that. There we go. Got some more out of it. So pretty much we're getting good clean lead once you get all the scum off of it. I'm going to pause this for a minute and get that uh, mold set down here. And actually what I want to do before that, so I'm going to show you something. With this pipe stuff, you need to be careful. Because with it being hollow, there's trapped air in there. If you set it in there, it's like a funnel and it'll gurgle up. If you set it in there, it's going to bubble. Now watch. Here we go. That was extremely bad. I did not get hit. Pure fucking luck. Wow. Holy shit. Okay, I'm pausing it now.